13.6 billion years ago. The dark scaffold that supports all the regular matter in the universe emerges ablaze with stars. But how did this stellar array evolve into a structure littered with organized galaxies? It seems they formed under constant threat of destruction. October 2020, astronomers discover a monster lurking among the cosmic web's earliest structures, dating to 900 million years after the Big Bang, a supermassive black hole. Six galaxies surround this cosmic giant. Caught in its grip, seemingly linked to the supermassive black hole by filaments of the developing cosmic web. It's like the universe has given supermassive black holes an umbilical cord. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet right there. Supermassive black holes are hungry beasts. They feast on any matter that gets too close to them. Supermassive black holes are likely some of the most powerful objects in the universe. They can be anywhere between 100,000 to 10 billion times the mass of the sun. Supermassive black holes have been a nemesis for generations of scientists, not because of their fearsome nature, but because nobody knows how they grew so large so early. I wish I knew where supermassive black holes came from. If I knew, I would have a Nobel Prize hanging around my neck, and I would wear it every single day. As someone who deeply loves supermassive black holes, whose career is based on studying supermassive black holes, it is very frustrating to not know where they come from. Regular stellar black holes are the collapsed cores of dead stars, ranging from three to thousands of solar masses. But supermassive black holes, those are a different beast. 13 billion years ago, not enough stars had lived and died to build something as huge as a supermassive black hole. Now, the cosmic web offers scientists clues about the black hole conundrum. We now know supermassive black holes grow among the lattice of the young cosmic web, gorging on the hydrogen gas that travels along the filaments. At the same time, when the cosmic web is lighting up, supermassive black holes appear to be stealing star fuel from the young universe. You might think that would kill a growing galaxy. And yet, most mature galaxies have a supermassive black hole. They really dominate the physics of what happens in the centers of galaxies and even how galaxies can evolve. We think these galactic monsters have been around from the start. How then did the web's young galaxies develop around supermassive black holes? The Milky Way's supermassive black hole is called Sagittarius A star. It's around 27 million miles wide and weighs in at just over 4 million solar masses. The environment around Sagittarius A star is very dynamic. It can actually be a really hellish place. There's this accretion disk that's full of plasma heated to thousands of degrees. So you wouldn't necessarily think that that's a great place for star formation to happen. But that's exactly where astronomers decided to look. Using the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, or ALMA for short, scientists scanned the heart of the Milky Way for dense cores of gas and dust, stellar embryos. They found more than 800 within just 1,000 light years of Sagittarius A star including more than 40 embryos with energetic jets blasting from their cores, the telltale sign of the birth of stars. It's really surprising to find those stars there. It's like hearing babies' cries from a wolf's den. It's not the place you would expect this to happen, but in fact, stars are forming there. Now, it's not as efficient as it is out here in the suburbs where things are quieter, but it works. 
baby stars igniting and thriving around a supermassive black hole, the kind of hostile environment we know existed in the young cosmic web. Starbirth is a key part of kickstarting young galaxies. This evidence suggests that star formation is more resilient than researchers thought. And they've developed a theory to explain it. Gas and dust race around the black hole in the accretion disk. Heated to incredible temperatures, plumes of gas break off and blast into space. The gas rapidly cools, collapses, and forms baby stars. These accretion disks are the most chaotic of stellar nurseries. You see this mechanism that you think is violently inhibiting star formation, and at the same time, it's triggering the birth of new stars. Matter clumps at the cosmic web's intersections, feeding the supermassive black holes. Around them, stars burst into life, slowly building galaxies. This could be how our own Milky Way formed among the filaments of the young cosmic web. But new research suggests that growth in these baby galaxies requires murder and mayhem. And without them, we wouldn't exist. <laughs>